Oh yeah, right, I should explain that real quick. Um, after learning that, you know, um, Arlong betrayed Nami, her whole village decided to try and fight off the fishmen. Well, they were stopped by no uh, by Johnny and Yosuku because they knew full well that if they fought the fishermen that they would die. Because they tried it. <laughs> like, even though, like, uh, Yosuku and Johnny did not know Nami, they tried their best to actually fight off the fishmen by themselves. And they did, they, they really did not do too well. <laughs> uh, poor guys, they tried their best. But anyway, after that, they stopped the villagers from busting in because they knew full well that they would be killed by the fishmen pretty quickly. But in this game, hey, they get to help out because, you know, we need, um, uh, grunts to help us. So, so, you know, that's cool that they, uh, they're allowed to do that, at least for this game, so. Uh, that's where this particular moment comes in, where, where it's applicable. Now, you may be thinking to yourselves, huh, why didn't she try and do this, like, way before, you know, just cut out the middleman of getting one million berries and killing, you know, Arlong? And that's the reason. Like, I think it's actually stated in the manga, or like in the anime, where Arlong says, Oh yeah, how many times have you tried to kill me? Like, poison me, maybe you try to kill me behind my back. How many times have those failed? And yeah, Arlong, yeah, he's a tough son of a bitch. But he really, really, really is uh, like... Uh, that's the reason why, like, Onami didn't try to assassinate him when his guard was down. Because he was tough to kill because Nami was unable to kill him normally. Who boy. So, you know, that's why. J just in case if you're wondering about that. Like I, like, I feel as if that's like a thing that, you know, like Oda figured out. as like, huh, you know, I'm pretty sure some people are going to be like, well, why is it that, you know, Nami just doesn't poison his food or something? And it's like... Uh, oh, I got. I better write a reason for that just in case, <laughs> and, and that, that 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 that's it. <laughs> that's the reason. I mean, I, I I like in all honesty, when I think of it, I think like, well, in all honesty, I it's not like as if she could like do too much to him, like try to sneak attack him, and uh, like maybe if he she could poison him, that'd be kind of interesting. But I feel as if like he might like have his eye on her all the time. So, especially since he keeps her up in a room up uh, on the highest floor of Arlong Park. By the way, the building that, you know, you see in the background, uh, that's where, you know, he forced Nami to live, mostly. Uh, he made her a room, which was a cartography room, where she mapped out different sea charts. Which, by the way, if you're wondering, why does a hate human-hating uh, fishman need a um, navigator? It's mainly due to her ability to make uh, very good maps of different places and different stuff. And the sea charts she can make allow Arlong and his buddies to manipulate the seafloor and do things uh, which allow him and his buddies to alter sea currents or, you know, the ocean itself by moving different rocks and formation stuff, which allows him to create things that, you know, would be hazardous for you know, seafaring ships, such as whirlpools. And that's why he thought he could take over the East Blue, because, hey, if I can take over, like, different, uh, you know, terrains underwater, no one's going to be able to handle me since I'm going to be the king of the ocean at that point. So that's why he is so adamant on keeping Nami in his crewmate, in his crew. But he does not see her as an equal. He sees her as a pet. I think he'll say that later, even. So... Keep that in mind. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna kill everyone except for Nami. <laughs> because, the, you know, if uh, that's definitely something you do. Ah, man, I really, really hope I can hit you with a special Kuzan attack. I'm hoping I don't miss, at least. Hmm. What he means by that, I think he specifically states like, oh, I'll spare your village if you, you know, stay with my crew and keep drawing sea charts. 
but the Straw Hat Pirates, I'm going to kill anyway. It's already too late for them. So she has a choice. She can either save herself and her village and let her friends be killed, or, well, there's a third option. So, we have two choices here. Well, thanks, well, you know, Nami figured out option C, which was basically just team up with Luffy. <laughs> Well, her villagers only. They, she, he, he won't spare, um, you know, Luffy's crew. I, I do look... Okay, yeah, okay, right. Uh, by the way, I've, I've been, like, like bit busy talking that I forgot to look. Well, actually, I'm looking right now. And not at what you're thinking, I'm thinking, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about her shoulder tattoo. Yes, it is, in fact, the Arlong symbol. So, okay, it is different. <laughs> okay, her model did change a bit. Um, I do like the fact that she's actually wearing Luffy's hat in this scene. That, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, well, what's your decision, Nami? <laughs> she straight up tells this to her vil her whole village, by the way, since they're there. And you may be thinking, oh, well, do they condemn her for that? No, they actually agree. They would rather, you know, die with her than live the rest of their life like this. Because as the captain from Wally -E once said, I don't want to survive. I want to live. <laughs> and that very much applies to this situation. I can't believe I actually brought that here. Brought that around. I think uh, that's actually the, uh, like, what do you call it? The village, like, cheering, or that should be the village cheering, like, yeah, yeah, you know, that type of thing. No, go! Special gum gum and all oversized cannon or exploding exploding star. Yes, got him. Yes, got him. <laughs> Okay, okay, good. I was like wondering, can I get out? Please? Ah, Hachi. Now you may be wondering, wait, why does Hachi get a whole... What do you call it? A whole, um... Uh, room dedicated to him. Or a whole character dedicated to him, even though... Really should? Ah, the Marines, of course. By the way, if you couldn't tell, the government is not portrayed very well in this series. I wonder why. <laughs> like seriously, the first like major marine we see is literally someone who's just a complete and total ass. And then we have like the other marines and the other stuff that happens. And it's like, and then we have these marines and then another marine that's just a jerk. So it's like, Jesus. I'm Like I understand why, so you know, if you, like, that's the thing you want to keep in mind. There's a lot of bad, bad Marines in, like, you know, One Piece. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's deal with you, Effers. Okay, good. Retreating. Okay, hopefully, Cannon Captain... Okay, get them, get them out of here. Okay, hopefully this can help the villagers. Oh yeah, uh, 
Good thing I explained about the Marines thing before this happened, right? Anyway, moving on. I mean, they were a distraction if nothing else, so... Okay, let's go with the four-prong attack. So, yeah, by the way, um, there, yeah, I do want to mention that. Yeah, there's a reason why that Hachi got a, uh, you know, full character to fight and insist he used, despite, you know, not, uh, being particularly, you know, that amazing, or at least, it, he doesn't seem that important of a character, but, um, spoiler alert, he comes back later in the series. Yeah, I'm being serious. But you know what, to be fair, out of all of the other fishmen in Arlong's crew, uh, Usa, uh, you know, Hachi was, uh, the least bad? Granted, he still, like, went along with kidnapping Nami. Or, you know, killing off Bellamy's, uh, uh you know, Bellamy. And then just taking Nami into the, uh, Arlong Pirates. But at least he made it right in the end. Like, like, I feel bad ever talking about that situation. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, he wasn't that bad, but he still was involved with all this. And it's like, yeah, it's so awkward to bring up. It's like, like, Hachi's actually pretty decent as a character, but you know. Uh, yeah, there's some characters like Gozen or, uh, I forget how it's pronounced. It's something like with the, a G. Oh yeah, the Gozen, right? Maybe? Who is important to the story too, but you know, unfortunately they couldn't uh, put him in the game as a background thing, but eh, it's fine. Again, I understand, you gotta limit these things. You gotta focus on the main cast and text and the number of characters on screen. <sighs> but yeah, I, like I said, I do recommend reading the manga or watching the anime, uh, so that way you can actually get to these points because it's really good here. Honestly, it, it's really nice to see like the villagers stand up uh, for themselves, even if they can't really fight fight in the anime or manga. It's still nice to see. I mean, I gotta give them credit for spirit. Uh, unfortunately, they're not gonna be too helpful in, like, the manga and anime, but still. I gotta give them credit for spirit. Okay, hold up. Okay, let's see if I can get to any of these other places. Okay. Okay, I think I know where to go from here. I think. Don't quote me. Okay, hold up. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay, Nami's going that way. I'll go this way. Okay, um, head to that one. Okay, I'll head to that one. I uh, gotta figure out a way how to deal with this. Because, like, I know there's other ways of turning off the water valves, but Usopp's usually the one to handle this, and I'm playing as him, so... A little bit of a double negative on this standpoint. But hey, I chose Usopp and I'm gonna stick with him. Even by a technical standpoint, he's not the strongest, at least in terms of his attacks. They're not as cohesive as a... You know, as an attacking thing, so... Gotcha, you punk. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, got him. Okay, get to the gear. Okay, okay, hold up. Um, here we go. Oh, okay. Ooh, Luffy has something. I did not... Gotcha! Alright, hopefully I can get to that villager before he disappears. Please don't. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Uh, please survive! Please! I, uh, like, I'm willing to do this over again, but you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive! Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive! Yes! Oh, thank God! Okay, thank God! <laughs> Fireball! Take that, you punk! Okay, oh, thank God. Thank you, Nami. Oh, does that take care of the other one, or...? No? Okay, okay, I'm just checking. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're, we're gonna get to him in a second. Okay, come on. Nice! Come on, come on, come on. Yes, gotcha! Now you guys are gonna get it. But she's a punk ass. Gotcha! Alright, now to finally open up this last one. You know what? Just because I kind of just want to. Especially since I need to build up another meter. Okay, let's do Luffy. Why not? Nice! Oh, 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 all oh, right. The switch. That switch. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Can I go through here? No. Dang it. There's a exclamation part there, but how do I get through? Uh, okay. I guess I can go through the other way, I guess. I don't know. I'm hoping to God I'm not stuck. Lord knows I cannot handle that if I did. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay, okay. Looks like someone's going that way. I'm assuming that's Luffy. So, this could be the right way to go. Hold up. Okay, good. I got a full one. Thank you for the meats. Should have probably paid attention to that. Okay, okay. When in doubt, follow Luffy. Or run ahead of him. Oddly enough, works out pretty well. Like, I know that's technically a bad thing to do, you know, to follow Luffy, but hey, in this instance, it works. <laughs> I love this part. I, I'm, like, this is how confident, like, Arlong is. Or, you know, arrogant he is. Person comes up to him and he doesn't blink or move. And Luffy just decks him. Now that is a good punch. <laughs> One of Luffy's better punches, honestly. 
Luffy has a habit of punching the heck out of, like, arrogant people, and it's fun. Oh, man. Okay, Luffy, I'm right here with you, I think. Are you here? Okay, nope, you're not here. I'm here. Hammer! Oh, I thought he got pushed back by Arlong. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see. Do we got it? There's one thing I do want to mention from, um, what do you call it? From the 4Kids dub of One Piece, where uh, they heavily censored or, you know, heavily uh, edited a couple of stuff and made it more kid-friendly. I'm not blaming them for doing that. You know, they were kind of given a bad deal of trying to adapt this as a more kid-friendly show. But, one of the few things that they did do, which was kind of dumb, but kind of funny to a degree, depending on how you feel about it, was the fact that instead of humans, the uh, voice of Arlong in that uh, anime, or, you know, that uh, dub, would say pumans, like pew, like ew, pumans. He would call humans pumans. I am not kidding. That is literally a thing that they did. I don't know why. Because, like, I'm pretty sure, like, he would, like, refer to people, you know, just as Adam Zutortsuman would be enough, but they decided to push it further by him having just, say, you know, calling humans pumans, which is both, like, sort of funny and kind of cringe at the same time. That's mostly cringe, but it's kind of funny. Hey, <laughs> uh, I like in the anime and manga where Luffy says or lie, and Usopp goes, "Hey." That's a slight, like, uh, core, like, message to One Piece. Also, that it does. It's that, uh, especially later on in like the series where Sanji sa states, "Do what I can't, and I'll do what you can't." Uh, or at least something like that, because, like, that's kind of what the, you know, being together sort of means. Yeah, Luffy handles the big bad that can pretty much is, like, the strongest person there, but it, everything else he needs help in, and, you know, he still needs, you know, a lot of other support for it. Pretty much, Luffy is blunt. Oh, you have no idea. I'm not sure if it's pride or arrogance. Just a little bit of, well, more like ignorance, but... Still, Luffy's got heart, and that's a good thing to have. Pretty much. I really wish I was playing as Luffy just because of this, but like I said before, I'm gonna try my best to, you know, play as all of the characters, at least to show them off. At least in this playable, like, campaign mode, you know? Okay, come on, Luffy. Ah, dang it! <laughs> Ah, well. At least I hit him with something. By the uh, It was a lot more brutal where he literally just grabbed his nose and twisted it instead of doing that. And yeah, this is the room like where Nami was kept in, by the way. Yes! Ha! 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm not sure how he flipped onto his stomach from that, but you know what? Doesn't matter, it's still badass. Okay, I was like wondering, are we gonna see this part? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, to be fair, in that particular situation, I'd be like a little bit confused if it didn't fall. It would be kind of funny if like Arlong started to drag up and then Luffy threw him off. Like, oh, it, it turns out Arlong's about to come out, but no, it's Luffy just using Arlong as some type of shield and just throws him off. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, but eh. This is still cool. <laughs> I know there's not a particular, like, one-to-one -one word for Nakama. So, you know, that's just a thing. It's like, it's a mix between family and crewmates. So it's like something deeper. But I like that, uh, like, in, like, one of the dubs, I think, uh, Luffy just straight up says, You're my friend, right? Ah. <laughs> uh. Good job, Luffy. And Zoro, and Sanji. And Usopp, actually. Trust me. If Usopp didn't deal with one of the pirates, it would have been ended a little bit worse for wear. So, good job, everyone. Hmm. <clears throat> and all it took was a rubber boy who ate a strange fruit to help set them free. And a, <laughs> and a couple of his friends. The pervert cook, the green-haired swordsman, and the long-nosed liar. Uh, so is there going to be anything else, or... Th okay, I guess that's it. Um, ah, dang it. Dang it, not as many kills. But, uh... <laughs> Real quick, also, just to state, if you're wondering about, like, uh, the, you know, the, uh, corrupted marines, they get what's coming to them. Uh, I think Luffy, or, uh, you know, Zoro... The rest of them beat up the corrupted marines and send them packing. And that's important. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, because, you know, not only is it cathartic, you know, especially since they give back the money they stole from Nami, but also because this particular moment is the starting point in which the marines take notice of Luffy. That particular marine who, you know, got beaten up or stole, you know, Nami's money and then got beaten up by, you know, the crewmates immediately like sends word to command that oh there's a new pirate in town that i want a bounty placed on and that's the you know start of where luffy got his you know first bounty poster or his first wanted poster so you know it's it's important for that you know reason that you know hey luffy finally got a uh, bounty on his head for once after this whole you know uh, s situation yeah i didn't complete everything did i Okay, what did I forget? Like, seriously, what did I forget? Uh, da 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, let me check something. Okay. Uh, ask valuation, uh, defeat Kuzan. Sanji, Zoro, okay. Okay, I need to play as Zoro and Sanji again. Oh, God. Oh, well. Uh, I'll get back to Arlong Park and play it again, uh, once I, uh, take a break for a second. I gotta, like, actually edit the videos because, oh, man, there's a lot of footage I need to use. But, uh... Yeah, that's it for this episode of uh, One Piece. Um, just One Piece in general. <laughs> One Piece Pirate Warriors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time for the next episode. I think this will be the end of the first chapter, actually. 
Like, as soon as this is done, then we're gonna go on to a next chapter. Uh, because, like, this particular scenario is definitely important to the series, so... We'll get to that when we get to that. So, I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Until then, time my bots. Take care.